Hello friends and greetings for the day. Welcome back to another tutorial on ISTQB Advanced Test Manager Certification. We are getting started with a new chapter here talking about chapter four defect management. And as a part of this, we are targeting the new topic that is 4.1 introduction. Keeping it short and simple, we are just talking about a simple content here and giving you a quick introduction about defect management. Now, of course, the defect management, we do understand that what exactly a defect is from the foundation. We have learned the basic definitions of these things and we know how to define what exactly a defect is all about. It's basically a kind of malfunction which can be observed as a part of testing or whenever your test case fails when interacting with the application or you observe any kind of deviation between the expected and actual is what you call it as defect. Now, managing that is very important, a very crucial part of the software testing lifecycle because these defects will basically define what kind of quality you have achieved at the end of the testing lifecycle. So for an organization, it is very important to manage them in a systematic manner, deploy a defect tracking lifecycle, implement a defect management system. Sometimes it could be difficult to manage them manually or without any particular tool, like you know, making use of simple tools like Spreadsheet. So that's where we recommend some more better and systematic tool, which also gives you additional benefits of traceability, where you can connect this defect into another entity like requirement or test cases, which will help you to determine further that what kind of defects you have identified as a part of your testing lifecycle. Plus, there are a lot of other benefits from defect. You can even determine from the root causes of defect that which area needs improvement. And the defect details must capture all that necessary information which is required for an organization to analyze the defect details and determine the next steps to improvise your overall process. And that's what this chapter is all about. Being a test manager, what responsibilities will you have in order to determine the defect management system? So, an organization's defect management process and the tool used to manage this work are critical importance not only to the test team, but to all other teams involved in the development of the software. Because in case you talk about the developers, they also need this detailed information to understand that what exactly a defect is all about and how should I resolve it. Sometimes we find a difficulty to reproduce a particular defect. And that's where the details of the defect is crucial. Information gathered by the effective management of defects allow the test manager and other project test stakeholder to gain insight on the state of a project throughout the development lifecycle. And by collecting and analyzing data over time can help locate areas of potential improvement for testing and development process. In addition to understanding the overall defect lifecycle and how it is used to monitor and control both the testing and software development process, the test manager must also be familiar with what data is critical to capture and must be an advocate of proper usage of both the process and the selected defect management tool. That's where a test manager plays a very critical role in terms of managing the defect and also determines what matrices, what details need to be captured whenever a defect is identified. And that's what we will be exploring in this chapter more in detail over these studies, what we have in the foundation already from our foundation level. Well, that's all from this particular tutorial team. Should you have anything else, feel free to comment below. I'm always there to answer your queries and respond to them well. Till then, keep learning, keep exploring, keep understanding the context. Thanks for watching the video team and happy learning.